look who it is. The two hottest stars on the indies. I guess you saw what happened. I'm certainly not an expert on the old internets, but it was kind of hard not to see it. Footage was plastered all over social media. What'd you think of the match? Four stars? Five, maybe? That's not really important right now. What matters is I wasn't the only one who got wind of your little guest appearance. You know, they do have internet up in Connecticut, right? So here's what I'm thinking. First time offense, your sentence is a crap ton of cardio, and then a match against the Viking Raiders. Sound fair? Yes, that's more than fair. And I promise it won't happen again. It better not, or you two will permanently be on the Indies. Now go do laps around the building until the Viking Raiders get here. When might that be? Oh, about three hours from now. Go. Ah! Two! 
Been hearing good stuff about you. Even Todd and security is talking up your training matches. Speaking of Todd, Paragon J. Pierce keeps asking Todd to park his car like he's a valet. I need someone to put Paragon in his place. I'll even ask the coaches to let you take off the training wheels.
Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, we mean you're gonna face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So, who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, the risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain, old, boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys.
Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. Then the dream got crazy, uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together, eat together. I know, we could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally, like pirate. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that.
I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. I've always wanted to compete on Monday nights, so I accept your offer. That's it? You're not even going to ask about your pay? I already did my negotiating in the ring. Fair enough. We'll send you the paperwork. Don't make me regret this. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come. Trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? Bro, I think you've been- All right. Chase. That's Chase. You're looking at the blue brand's newest superstar. Took longer than Good it for you. You got yeah, no idea. I'm... Hey, I heard you're going to Raw. Congrats. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete That's with right. You. Congrats on getting signed to Raw. Think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. It's the arrival of the newest addition to Monday nights. GM Mandy Rose and the WWE Universe are lucky to have this superstar on Monday Night Raw. I know he's accomplished a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the red brand. Then we'll talk.
I've been watching a lot of old Andre the Giant. He is the first true giant in the history of the WWE, the eighth wonder of the world. That's an understatement, Saxton. Andre makes grown men look like children. And his opponent from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre! And you are looking at one of the most unshakable superstars on the roster. Absolutely a picture of resilience. He's been through ups and downs, but has never given up the fight. Bitter perseverance is what will make him such a threat in this matchup. But across the ring, you have a man who's the odds-on favorite in any match. Andre the Giant, a competitor who's not only bigger and stronger than almost anyone in the history of WWE, but who has traveled the flyer. Foot stop to the chest. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Stopping down. Andre counters. Caught the leg. That's the leg. Was mounted with punches and not right to the gut. And here comes the cover. Is it enough to... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Feet on the ropes. Yes, ref breaks the illegal pin. <laughs> Drop kick to the knee, and the Giant can't stop any offense coming his way. We're seeing Andre in an unusual tough spot. Oh, a head but right to the shoulder. That's easy, your noggin. Boom, right across the small of the back. I knew it was coming. Experienced a blow like that one. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Cinch is up the arm and a foot to the belly. Tough position to be caught in here. Check your face after that one. The foot press. What good is being in control if you can't enjoy it? Just one step ahead. German suplex. But that's not all. He can end it here. One, two. He narrowly avoids the count. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Brutal <laughs> form. The Giants in real danger now. Oh, Andre counters. These two show how well scouted they each are. And the Giant can't stop any offense coming his way. We're seeing Andre. Shoulders down. One, two, no, two count. Almost inhuman at this point. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. The top of a diving hammer strike. Paying it right back with a reversal. Effective. 
That's a nasty gash on Andre the Giant. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Reached on the shoulders. Feast your eyes. The Giant's in serious danger. The cover. One, two, three. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Grim. One of the most powerful. This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. And he's standing across the ring from Titus O'Neil. Since Titus made it to the ring without sliding under the apron, we can safely say he is one of the most powerful opponents you could ever draw in the ring. Titus' strength among superstars is absolutely legendary. If he leans too much into his power, there's no denying that strategy has served him well in the past. Diving hammer strike! Boom! Did you hear the impact? Oh, stomping away. And Titus with a counter. Jumping elbow drop. Shoulder claw, look at this, agony and pain. Uh-oh. Yeah. Able to sidestep it. Yeah. Knee right to the face. Oh. Oh, knee right to the face. Rip record. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Turning the tables there. Oh, that got turned around on Titus. Shattering boot. Heading up, he's thinking big. Soaring. Stop to the chest. Titus O'Neil is under immense pressure. Yeah, Titus's defensive instincts need to kick in. He deflects it right back. All the way up. Still up. Squatting too, my gosh. Wow. He steers clear of contact. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Man, just 
just a multitude of strikes. Oh, rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Titus struggling to defend himself. And Titus needs to find that spark. Up into the torture rack. Can Titus come back from that? An incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Yeah, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Oh, man. Titus O'Neil is busted up. And Titus with a counter. Titus might be waking up. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. Taking down with a body slam. He's taking some good hits. Get ready for the entrance of the big dog. I really miss Cole doing that, Saxton. I think I'd do it better. I think it was subpar at best. And from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! One of the workhorses of WWE proudly feels that he carries this business on his broad shoulders and will continue to do so well into the future. Well, Roman has that swagger. Roman has that confidence. And Roman has that message to the entire roster of WWE. If you think you can yeah. stop me, try. Yeah, good luck with that. Go ahead, Byron, try. Uh, I'm good.
most dominant competitors ever. Breathing fire and raining destruction like a dragon. A focused gaze on the face of Goldberg. WWE's resident royalty. Hey. And a true superstar inside the ring and out. <laughs> and their opponent. Welcome to halftime heat where we have a gigantic battle royal made up of entirely former players. There's been a lot of people looking forward to this match, including former Iron Turn Sports Circle legends Steve Austin. Certainly on this sweet fight out who's the top four football player in WWE. Oh my gosh! Punch right in the head. Keith Lee has been eliminated. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Corbin gets stymied. Let's 
circle legends, Steve Austin and The Rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Oh, 